Good morning. If you're like me and you drink a lot of coffee, you've probably either considered or maybe even tried out a coffee subscription service. Just simply place one order online and you get coffee delivered fresh to your doorstep however often you'd like. However, there are so many companies out there flooding the market that it's hard to know if they're all actually that different and if they are, then which one may be best for me? So we've done the research for you and I've taken a look at five different services and how they all differentiate from one another. And if so, which one is best for you? Hello, my name is Steven Holm and I am with Home Grounds. We make videos and articles to help you brew better coffee right at home. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and drop us a comment down below and let us know what sort of things you'd like to see on this channel. A quick disclaimer before I go any further, we did purchase all of these subscriptions with our own money and therefore all the opinions are those solely of home grounds. No one sent us anything for free except for Atlas Coffee Club who sent us additional coffee after we had already purchased our first subscription from them. I also want to say that I'll be listing all the offerings price ranges, but each website offers a different cost per cup method, but I'll just be using Angel's Cup because it was the first one I looked at. They go by 16 grams of coffee equals one cup. And so when I say something costs $1 per cup, it means that you are paying $1 for 16 grams of coffee. So let's jump into our first offering, Angel's Cup. Angel's Cup wins my vote for the best experience. You see on their website, they have three different offerings. They have the Cupping Flight, the Black Box, and the Angel's Cup All-Stars. The reason they win for experience is because those first two offerings, you actually receive the coffee blind. So you don't know what these coffees are and your goal is to taste them and kind of make a game out of it, see what you think they are and then compare your notes to what those coffees actually are. And even though I only got one out of those four coffees correct, I had so much fun doing it that I would love receiving a shipment of Angel's Cup all the time. Angel's Cup pricing ranges from 90 cents per cup to $1.38 per cup which really compared to all the other offerings isn't that bad for what you're receiving. You're getting fantastic coffee from roasters that are highly known for their quality all over the country. And not only that, but you're getting a wide variety of coffees. You can try things that maybe you wouldn't have even known you liked countries that aren't as well known that you couldn't really get from your grocery store. Now my only complaint with Angel's Cup is that you have little to no choice in what you're getting. On their website you really only have options for light, medium, or dark roasts, but really that's part of the whole thing is that you don't know what you're getting. So you do have to be adventurous if you're going to be going with Angel's Cup. You do have to kind of be open to maybe getting a coffee that you won't love, but it's all part of that experience of training your palate, trying different coffees that maybe you would have never before. So who do I recommend Angel's Cup to? Those who are adventurous, those who are willing to try coffees blind, not knowing what they're gonna get, but paying a great price for trying coffee from roasters all over the country and having a great experience while doing it. Next up, we have Atlas Coffee Club, which is my favorite traceability option of these offerings. Atlas pricing runs from 78 cents to $1.31 per cup. Now what makes Atlas different is that not only are they sourcing and roasting their own coffees, but they only offer one option per month. And the reason is because they are actually going out to those origins, they're working directly with coffee farmers, to give you the most traceability in your coffee that you can ask for. And all of those coffees are going to be delicious. I have to say that both coffees I received were really well roasted. They tasted fantastic. I can't recommend them enough. Now the only downside obviously to Atlas is that they only have that one option per month. You have the choice of a partial bag, one bag or two bags sent to you either every two weeks or every month. And if you select every two weeks, you are getting the same coffee twice in a row. So if you're looking for a wide variety of coffees, maybe look at something else, but you could also just stick with Atlas and add on something else because these coffee subscriptions aren't that expensive for what you're getting. So I recommend Atlas to anyone who is looking for superior traceability in their coffee. 
knowing exactly where it's coming from, who they're sourcing from, and everything included in the process. Next up, we have Beanbox. Beanbox wins my vote for the best gift option because how they're different from the others is they have a lot of different gift box options, providing not only coffee, but coffee and chocolate or coffee and nut gift boxes, which are great if you're just giving someone a gift for the holidays or for a birthday, they can receive a coffee and chocolate tasting set every month. Now Beanbox pricing varies from $1.08 per cup to $1.88 per cup, and those are only for the coffee options, not including the coffee plus whatever else tasting kit. Beanbox is great because they have a lot of different options on their website. I got a little overwhelmed looking at it, but that's just because I was only interested in a coffee subscription. They are sourcing coffees from some of the best roasters, all located in the Pacific Northwest. Now my only downside for Beanbox is that they're not the absolute cheapest option if you're just looking to receive a variety of coffee shipped to you per month. However, Beanbox is really tailored towards gifts. So who is it for? It's for those who are looking for giving a gift box to friends or family who are interested in coffee and maybe sending them a little something extra like chocolate in their subscription. Next up is my sustainability choice, Drift Away Coffee. Drift Away is similar to Atlas Coffee Club in that they source and roast their own coffees, and their pricing ranges from 66 cents to 87 cents per cup, also making them the cheapest offering on our list. Drift Away is unique in that your first shipment is actually going to be a tasting kit where they send you four different options of coffee that you're supposed to taste and evaluate and give feedback so they can really make sure that you're getting coffees that you love, which I really enjoy because I love two of the options that were sent to me, so in the future I could choose to only have coffee similar to those two sent to me. Drift Away won my sustainability option because they're doing everything they can throughout their entire process to be environmentally friendly. From working directly with coffee farmers and even providing them feedback based on your comments that you send to them, as well as sending fully compostable packaging for all of their coffee, and they claim to be a carbon neutral operation on their website. These are all really great things to see. Now the only downside I can see with Drift Away is that because they're roasting their own coffee, the quality is going to be questionable because they don't have that reputation like roasters throughout the country may have. However, I will say that all of the samples I received were very delicious and that I wouldn't personally be worried about the quality going forward. So who is Drift Away for? Really anyone looking for a good quality, cheap coffee in a sustainable package. Last up on our list, we have Misto Box, which wins for the customizability options on their website. Pricing on Misto Box ranges quite a bit, but it goes from about 70 cents a cup to $1.08 a cup. Now, if you're not familiar with Misto Box, they were actually on the TV show Shark Tank and therefore have an extremely refined system. As soon as you go to their website, you see that they're currently offering over 500 coffees which is ridiculous, but all of those coffees are sourced from really well-known coffee roasters in the country. When you sign up with a subscription, you're given a coffee curator, which is an actual human being that will help you find coffees that you love. And the system for ordering is genius. They guide you through, ask you what sort of things you like in coffee. They have different pricing tiers so that you can pay exactly what you want. And those are the reasons that they won for my customizability option. Now with Misto Box, there are so, so many options that it may be a little bit more difficult to dial in the exact coffee that you're looking for. And you are paying a slight premium in order to have that coffee curator in this refined system. But really it is not that much more and for the quality that you're getting, I believe it is well worth it. So who is Misto Box for? Really anyone that wants to dial in the exact type of coffee that they are getting, but still receive a wide variety because Misto Box works from so many roasters across the country. And you also have that coffee curator who will help you along the way. So those are the five subscription services that we've taken a look at. We have Angel's Cup winning for the experience, 
Atlas winning for traceability, Beanbox winning the gift options, Drift Away winning for sustainability, and Mistobox for customizability. I really hope that this was helpful for you in deciding which coffee subscription service might be best for you. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comments down below. And when you are ready to go forward with one of these, be sure to check out the description where we have links going right to their websites. Once again, thank you for watching, and as always, happy brewing.